Hi, I'm Donovan. Hi, I'm Becky. Becky, that's kind of weird. What's weird? Most Rebeccas go by Becca these days. Oh, <laughs> I guess. You know, I just brought a juicer and I'm trying to decide if spending $10 a day on fruits and vegetables is really worth it. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, do you juice? Yeah, I've done it for a few months. Cool. How's it working for you so far? Pretty good. I feel a lot better since I started. Really? How so? Uh, like more energy and better skin and stuff like that. Cool. I might just give it a shot. Cool. I hope it works out for you. You know, you actually seem pretty cool. Here, put your number on my phone. We'll hang out sometime. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a boyfriend. Hi, I'm Donovan. I have a boyfriend. Hi, I'm Donovan. Not interested. Hi, I'm Donovan. A lot of men mistake the difference between a shit test and a rejection. But there's an easy way to distinguish the two. The earlier in the conversation she hits you with an excuse not to give you her number, the more likely it is that she's rejecting you. But if she entertains conversation with you for a few minutes, and is an active, eager participant in that conversation, and then she hits you with the, I have a boyfriend, that is likely a test, meaning she might be attracted to you. Modern women don't generally entertain conversations with men they don't know if they're not attracted to them in the first place. And the longer they engage in the conversation, the higher the likelihood that she could be attracted to you. Oh, and by the way, here's how to pass the test. Oh, I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend. He's not invited. And from there, let the chips fall where they may.